Okay, so this is Jake from Palau. He's a local in uh, Palau. He's Palawan. He's gonna show us uh, how to fix his uh, favorite uh, beetle nut, but uh, without what? Without, uh, without the meat and the peppermint. Please. Without the meat and the peppermint, uh, so it don't uh, get red no. when you chew. And don't stain your teeth. Though. Don't stain in your teeth. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's nga in the Philippines. We call it nga nga o bunga. Bunga. Bunga? So, yeah, bunga. So cut in the half. But uh, we use the the old, the ripe, yellow. Yeah. And then the meat is really hard. So they only use the meat. They only chew the meat. Yeah, yes, they, they, the same in uh, Guam and Saipan. Yeah, they chew the meat. They don't chew the, the husk. Yeah, they don't chew the husk. Because they chew the old one, they only chew the meat. Yeah. For us, we chew the young one. Some people they love this one. They love the meat. If it's white, yeah. it's uh, grade A. It's sweet. Yeah, sweet. Really. Uh, small portion of a coconut. And also, uh, I heard uh, when the uh, Palau was short on the uh, beetle nut, they get from here or? And we sometimes get from here, but mostly they uh, get from the states the dried one. Oh, the dried one. The dried one. The dried one is from here. No. Okay, so you put the uh, lime. Lime. It's it's from the coral, right? Yes. Uh, that's look like cocaine, right? Many of uh, actually think it is cocaine. <laughs> and the cigarette. And cigarette. You don't chew the filter, of course. But they chew the paper. They chew the paper, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And that's it. And, and then. then uh, mm. Make you a little bit of buzz, right? Uh, like a smoking cigarette or drinking coffee for the first time, you feel the buzz. Yeah. Then after a while, it's just a really bad habit with uh, no effect. Yeah. But I still and chew it. And it's a very expensive habit. It's a very expensive habit. Because uh, one pack of uh, beetle nut, how many pieces? There's like a range between 8 and 10 inside the back, and the price is uh, $1.50 to $1.75. On occasions that the island runs out of beetle nut, then you have like 10 in the back for $2, $2.50. Wow, that's like uh, 100 pesos. And then uh, the cigarette, of course, is uh, $6.50, six seventy-five, dollars a pack, depending on what you're... Uh, so that's uh, 350 plus uh, 100 so like 500 pesos. Uh, um, um, uh, yeah. Pretty much uh, a week, you spend uh, US dollars, I spend about 40 45 dollars a week <laughs> on, 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 on chewing beer on that. Yeah, that's uh, that's expensive, uh, Very expensive habit. Uh, habit. But uh, this thing is for mostly the agents and islanders because the life here in Palau is pretty laid back. Uh, we use this to kill time. You have nothing to do, at least keep your hands busy and your mouth uh, chewing. Yeah, yeah. I think, Ole, uh, if you're a boxer, you have a very strong uh, jaw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I check my, uh, my teeth, but my molars are so. Uh, corroded that uh, I can actually clean my teeth and then stick this finger right in between them really? because it's uh, it's open now. Uh, Already, not, yeah. Uh, How often you go to the dentist? Once a year? Never? Never go to the dentist. Yeah, maybe the bacteria doesn't grow into your. Uh... I, I never had a uh, cavities. Yeah. Uh, maybe when I was a little kid uh, eating uh, candy and. Yeah. Which a lot, but uh, now I never had cavities and I haven't lost a tooth yet. I haven't lost a tooth yet. Wow, that's good. Yeah, because uh, you're chewing calcium, right? Yeah, and then because we chew, uh, it's uh, very juicy, but it stimulates your uh, gums to use more saliva than you normally do. And because we don't swallow it, we have to do this. Wow, that's very wow. <laughs> So there's a there's supposed to have a contest of uh, how far the the speed yeah yeah occasionally or maybe once a year uh, Palau have to have the uh, festival of uh... so it's a it's a bad habit 
but uh, in Palau, probably the only island where you walk around, you see a sign in front of stores that says, Don't spit. Don't spit, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lakmulup. Lakmulup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, man. No worries. Yeah, right. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy watching it. Okay. okay. So, Lakmulup, spit wisely. Yeah, in, in all uh, corner of uh, Palawa, yeah. like uh, hospital, hospital, shopping, most of the big uh, school, stores, yeah, stores, schools, yeah, yeah. Um, parking lot, uh, yeah. most of the parking so lot. So how do you, how you say it in, in Palawan? Lagamolup, uh, uh, don't spit, uh, spit wisely. Spit wisely. <laughs> <laughs> so the story about uh, Lagamolup. Yeah. About the lady who's asking for a flower? Flower. There's a, a lady that used to work in a hospital. She's a doctor from the uh, U.S. And uh, one day she approached me and said, Jake, you know flowers, so can you help me? I said, yeah, I can help you. I need a flower uh, to grow in my house in a pot. And there's a really nice one at the hospital. Yeah, you just tell me what it is, I'll find it for you. And she told me she like a lagamalu flower. <laughs> Like a balloon, it means don't speak. So I said, we are not such a flower. So we have a nice flower at the hospital, and it's in a flower pot. And have a small sign that says, like a <laughs> And then you said? I said, honey, that's not the name of the flower. It's a, it's a sign that tells people not to speak. Because people spit always the not yeah. spit into the flower pot. So they put the sign. <laughs> <laughs> to stop people from spitting into so the flower she, she pot. Loved, she loved. She, uh, yeah. yeah, she had a really good time. A yeah. good laugh uh, about the flower pot. Lakmulu. Lakmulu flower. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs>